The University of Chicago Booz School of Business has a long history of cultivating some of the brightest business minds. Over the years, eight faculty members have won the Nobel Prize in Economic Sciences. But the latest winner, Richard Thaler, is cut a little different from the rest. His theories on behavioural economics, a field that bridges the gap between economics and psychology, largely contradict those of his predecessors. The people I meet uh, don't resemble the people that appear in economics textbooks. Uh, those people, I call them econs, um, those people are really smart. They, you know, they think like they have a spreadsheet running in their head at, at all times, calculating the best possible thing to do. They have no self-control problems, no memory problems, um, uh, and they're complete jerks. And, you know, the, the people that we deal with every day um, are nicer than economists give us credit for, but not nearly as smart. In terms of this field, the field of behavioral economics, when you started out, this was very much a, a kind of a fringe area of economics, wasn't it? You're saying something that you think is obvious, that other p people think is obviously stupid. Um, so some interesting conversations evolve. But um, um, yeah, it wasn't the easiest career choice. One book that you co-wrote, Nudge, uh, talks about how these processes uh, can really help influence governments, influence the way uh, we go about our business, uh, the way we make our decisions. Just explain a little, a bit of the thinking behind that. Well, the, the idea of Nudge was, can we create interventions that improve decisions but never require anyone to do anything? So that's the idea of the Nudge. There are all kinds of things that we can do, making very small changes to the environment that help people make better choices. In terms of the future, where, where next? Where do you feel this kind of particular area can move on to next? I can say what I hope, which is that uh, much more attention is paid to uh, macroeconomics. So how do we deal with recessions, uh, monetary policy? Um, these are domains where uh, behavioral economists are only just starting to put their toe in the water, but uh, I think there's lots of opportunities uh, because, again, we're really just talking about behavior. And if we want, if the, if the economy goes into a recession and we want people to do something, um, firms to hire more or people to keep spending, well, that's a behavioral problem, and we should be able to deal with it with modern behavioral science solutions. Thaler will travel to Stockholm to collect his Nobel Prize in December. He describes the honor as mind-boggling. And then there is the small matter of the $1.1 million of prize winnings. And in terms of, I think I read somewhere about your winnings and what to do with it, <laughs> you're going to spend it as irresponsibly as possible, I think. Well, I, read. I, I, I don't. Uh, you know, that was, they asked me that question at 4.45 in the morning. So um, uh, I have had numerous emails suggesting that um, offering to spend the money for me. No Ferrari then? No Ferrari.